Delaware Valley's leading news program with Jamie Apodi, meteorologist Cecily Tynan, Rick Williams, and Monica Malpass. Hell check tonight. Several research teams in our area got a boost in funding. The Pennsylvania Department of Health handed out grants today totaling $3.5 million. Health reporter and registered nurse Allie Gorman is at the Action News Big Board with the details. Hey, Allie. Hey, guys. Yeah, and this is a big deal. Pennsylvania's Secretary of Health was in Philadelphia today to announce the recipients of what's called the Cure Grants. Now, the money comes from the Tobacco Settlement Act of 2001, and it goes to projects that aim to improve our health. So let's take a look at where some of the money went to. The Institute for Hepatitis and Virus Research, that's in Doylestown, they got a grant. Now they're working on better treatments for liver cancer, of course, a very difficult cancer to treat. Also, UE Life Sciences also got a grant. They're working on a better way to screen women with dense breasts for breast cancer. Now, many times cancer can be missed on a mammogram if a woman has dense breasts, but their invention addresses that problem and it's already showing promising results. We could see it being used here very soon. Also, Thomas Jefferson University got a grant as well. They're working on a test that will help detect colon cancer earlier. Again, another common and potentially deadly cancer. And finally, the Wistar Institute got money to advance their project. They're working on developing a blood test that can detect lung cancer, trying to find it earlier when it is more treatable. Now, all of the recipients say this money will help them help more people in the future with their research. They were all really had the potential of uh, essentially making care, diagnosis, therapy better for a variety of pretty bad diseases. And she says many times it is very difficult to get enough funding to bring an idea into the clinical setting, meaning getting, meaning getting it to the point where it can actually help people. But all of these projects are on that track, so we'll continue to follow that research.